Hi everyone, welcome to the Tailored Expressions YouTube channel. It's Taylor here today, and I am excited to share with you a little bit more about stencil techniques. I've been playing with our recently released collection lately, and I have several different ideas to share with you. We have lots to cover, so let's get started. First, I wanna share with you Nouveau Glimmer Paste. I have in my hands Moonstone, Golden Crystal, and Silver Gem. I'm going to start with the silver gem and apply it to a piece of our blue corn cardstock through one of our stencils. So I started by adhering the piece of cardstock to my placemat just to keep it in place. And then I have our scattered stars stencil, which I am adhering around the outside, and then using a palette knife to scoop some of that glimmer paste out of the jar and across the top of my stencil, just like you're frosting a cake. You can put the excess back into the jar and you can see how that turns out really nice and sparkly. Next, I am going to take the Moonstone color, which is just a clear color of the Nouveau Glimmer Paste, and I'm gonna show you how you can dye that with Tailored Expressions reinkers. So I have here our Majestic Stencil, which is a really cool design, along with some of our Sugar Cube cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I did last time and put a little bit of adhesive just to hold that in place on my placemat. And then I'm going to take that stencil once again and add tape around the outside to hold the stencil in place. Now in order to dye the glimmer paste, I'm just putting a couple dollops of the paste onto the back of one of our stamp storage panels. So that works really nice to take a little bit of that ink. You can see I'm not even using very much of that re-inker. And then I'm grabbing the paste and spreading it with my palette knife again. Make sure you wipe your palette knife in between applying the two colors. And when you go ahead and take that stencil off, you can see what a beautiful background you have. Next, I am sharing some Color Bloom 2 Shimmer Spray from Prima Marketing. So you can also apply the spray through the stencil onto your cardstock. And that's what I'm gonna show you with these four beautiful colors. So I'm actually gonna use the Poppy Field, which is kind of a reddish color. I have a piece of our pink champagne cardstock that I'm putting into the bottom of a box. This is what I use to spray my stencils. And you can see it has a nice nozzle that I have just sprayed about six to 12 inches away from the cardstock. Here are some others that I did with a few of the other colors. And you can see that you get just a really fun eclectic look to the stencils when you get some of that bleed through from the stencil design. So lots of different things you can try with the stencil mist as well. Next, I wanna share with you one of my favorite techniques to use with stencils. So this is Deco Foil Transfer Gel, and we're going to apply that through the stencil using one of my favorites. This is our Polka Party. It's just a really simple polka dot. So after taping that around the outside, I'm gonna take my palette knife and just apply the transfer gel using that palette knife, scraping a nice thin layer over the top and putting the excess back into the jar. So when I take this off, it is gonna take about an hour to dry. So you'll need to set that piece aside, but I do have one that is already completely dry to the touch. Here you can see this one is dry and shiny. I'm gonna take that and put it in my carrier and I am applying strips of foil in a rainbow color palette over the top there. And then when you put the top of the carrier down and send it through the mink machine, you can see the best part when it comes out the other side. So I pull that out and then let's watch the magic as we take off those strips. This is my favorite part. So you can see a beautiful rainbow design on that foil, nice and shimmery and shiny. Last but certainly not least, we have a method that is pretty common when using stencils and that is stencil brushing. So again, I'm taking a little piece of adhesive and adhering that down over the top of my placemat just to keep that in place and putting some tape around the edges just to keep that stencil in place while I'm using my Clarity stencil brushes. I've started with Lollipop and just brushing that over the top portion of the stencil. I'm adding lemon meringue and I'm overlapping some of the lollipop to give a nice orange color. And then I'm gonna finish with the confetti cake. And you can see how that creates a nice green and a blue. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you can find all of these products on the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks for stopping by.